wanted to take a couple of minutes to update you on the rebuilt shocks on my Ford Raptor. Now, when I rebuilt these a couple of years ago and did the video, I had 135,000 miles on the truck. Now, back then, I knew it was time to rebuild them because I had a clunking noise coming from the back of the truck and everything was kind of spongy when you drove the truck down the road. I still have the same nitrogen bottle, same nitrogen that I bought when I originally built them. I've actually checked the pressure in these shock four different times over the last couple of years. There's only been a, a slight variance across those two years. And the rear shocks are pretty simple and straightforward. The, the little non-loss valve screws right on the bottom of the remote reservoir, making it very simple and easy to check. Now I've heard people say that when you screw this valve on and unscrew it, you lose pressure in these shocks, but I haven't seen that. They always stay right at 200 PSI. And you can see here, they're still dead on. I have never had to add nitrogen to the rear shocks. So I'm gonna skip right up here to the front. And primarily, this passenger side front is the one that's giving me the most trouble. Number one, it's very hard to get that no loss valve screwed onto this because of the way the Schrader valve points. And when I rebuild these again, I'm gonna flip that shock body 180 degrees out so the Schrader valve points to the outside of the truck just like the driver's side does. Like I said, this right front has given me problems before. You can see there's no pressure in the shock. And I'm just testing the fittings to make sure I'm not doing something wrong with my extension and my no loss uh, valve here, but I can pressure and it holds. I don't see any leaks, but the pressure is definitely low on this right front shock. All I'm doing now is just checking to make sure I have good uh, connections, good seals on this extension and on my valve but you can tell that I go from zero pressure right here to 200 PSI in just that short of time. And then it's just disconnecting everything and moving over to the driver's side, which is much simpler because the Schrader valve points to the outside. I can basically screw the no loss valve right on to that Schrader valve. Works really, really well. And this shock, like the rear, is right at 200 PSI, so there's not any issues with it at all. But I am going to rebuild these shocks anyway because I now have 180,000 miles on this truck and somewhere around 50,000 is when they say you should rebuild them. Unless you're doing a lot of hardcore off-road, which I'm not doing that. I primarily stick to hunting leases and oil field roads. I do want to thank you for watching this update video. I will not be recording rebuilding these shocks the second time around. It will be just like the first time, unless I run into something unique that I think would be interesting to show. I appreciate you watching. Be careful out there. Have fun.